Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I'm Priyanka, and in this episode, I am pleased to welcome back Jen Person to talk about another mobile app backend service solution. Hello, Jen. Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud. Thanks, Priyanka. I'm super excited to share today's solution. I think it's a real winner. Well, so far, you've shown us some really great recipes. We've looked at some architectures using Firebase, and then another one using Firebase and App Engine Standard, and then yet another one using Firebase and App Engine Flexible Environment. So we are all wondering, what are we cooking up today? Well, the ingredients for today's recipe are the App Engine Standard Environment and the Endpoints Frameworks. Ah, yes. I know that Endpoints Framework for the App Engine Standard Environment generates APIs, client libraries, and discovery documentation for an App Engine App. Exactly. This means you don't have to write wrappers to handle communication with App Engine. And with the client libraries generated by Endpoints, you can make direct API calls from your mobile app. Using Endpoints with App Engine gives you an app platform that monitors, updates, and scales the hosting environment. What sort of apps might not be a great fit for this? Well, I don't recommend this architecture if your app requires automatic real-time data synchronization across devices. For those apps, you'll want to see one of the solutions that includes Firebase. So in Priyanka's kitchen, could you help me understand this with an example? Well, remember when we talked about updating player scores and rankings? Since all client devices needed the updated scores, one of our previous solutions using Firebase is better for that use case. So what are some of the other apps that are not a great fit? So if your backend services require custom servers or third-party libraries, you'll want to look at the solution with Firebase and App Engine flexible environments. Ah, like for example, if I needed custom payment processing server to process payments in Priyanka's kitchen app, then that payment processing server can be on App Engine flexible environment integrating with Firebase, right? Exactly. And finally, if your systems don't support SSL, you'll want to choose another solution because SSL is required by endpoints. And if App Engine with endpoints sounds like a good solution for developers, then how can they find out more? Link below is a set of getting started tutorials that show how to build the Hello Endpoint sample app. This sample lets you send simple messages. The backend service is implemented on App Engine and exposed to the mobile app with endpoints. Awesome. Well, if your use case requires making direct API calls from the mobile app, then it's worth checking out Cloud Endpoints and try this recipe. That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Jen, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. It was fun. And if you'd like to know more about today's recipe, you can check out the Endpoints with App Engine guides and reference docs. Join us next time to see what we are cooking up. If you like this video, then check out the other episodes in the series. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can be notified about new episodes of Get Cooking in Cloud, as well as other great Google Cloud content.